Hey guys, I'm back with another uh, DVD update. I got, uh, I think there's like five titles here I'm going to show you today, and they're all Goodwill pickups. Um, the first two are TV box sets, and I picked those up last week. And when I was going to the counter, uh, the, the cashier informed me that um, they were going to be having a half off sale uh, this weekend. So I head on the east, I knew they wouldn't probably still be there. There were some things that I left behind that I was hoping might still be there today and they weren't it was like a, I was really busy in there so um, the first thing as you can see here is the second season of being human um, I'm really enjoying this um, this is um, an eight episode run for season two I've watched um, the first five episodes this week at work and I really like how the story for season two was very different than what they've done in the American series. I've seen all the episodes in the American series. Um, I knew that it was a, a remake of a British a British show, but I really like this uh, British show, probably a little bit better. Um, I think because it's a little harder edged than the American counterpart. There's nudity in it. Um, there's uh, swearing in it. Not that that's, those are pluses, but it makes it a little more real real than uh, the U.S. counterpart. And I really like the cast and stuff like that. Um, so I need to finish the last three episodes for this. And hopefully um, I can find uh, the third season at some point. Because I've been pretty lucky with this. Like the first uh, box that I found was like three bucks there. And this one was five. Which I'm okay with paying five bucks for something that probably cost me like 20 or whatever. Okay, next up we have point. Pleasant. Now this was a, a mid-season uh, series on Fox back in 2005, and this is a uh, horror-based. Basically, this young woman she washes up on the shore, and I guess she's the spawn of the devil. And the longer she stays in this uh, coastal town, um, the more she has an adverse uh, effect on uh, the people in the town, and they start like you know doing amoral things and stuff like that. I remember watching, um, I think the first couple episodes of this. And then um, I just stopped watching it, and then it was canceled. I guess they aired uh, eight episodes, but there's 13 on this uh, box set. And I think there's um, an unaired pilot as well. The only name that I recognize in this series is Dina Meyer, and she was in uh, Piranha uh, 3D, the remake. And she was in uh, also in uh, Starship Troopers. So I'm looking forward to checking this out again. Next up, and these are the things that I got today for half off, like a dollar fifty a piece. And we have Trilogy of Terror. This was the first thing that I found. Had I not seen this, I probably would have just looked through real quick and then took off because the line was really long in there. And I knew that if I were to go in there, it would, I'd be in there for the long haul. Um, so I've always wanted this. This is a Dark Sky release. I know there was another release um, from um, Anchor Bay back in the probably the late 90s so I remember when I was a kid my parents let me watch this when I was really really young and this is when it originally aired on TV this is a TV movie from Dan Curtis he did the um, the Night Stalker series and Cold Check which was from the TV movies and uh, he was like the king of TV horror back in the 70s and I remember seeing an issue of a TV guide and it had these uh, th these dolls in it and I was fascinated by that, so I sat there and watched the whole thing until I got to the the third story, which is the killer doll thing here, and I really enjoyed that one a lot. I'm looking forward to checking this out. Um, obviously, all three stories star Karen Black, who was like, I thought that she was the queen of horror back when I was a kid. I thought that's all she did was horror movies between this and Burnt Offerings. Um, there's the back here. And I think there's some inside artwork you can see here. There we go. I think that's Karen Black fighting the doll. Alright, now next up we have FX. And I remember watching this when I was a uh, kid back in the, the 80s. And it stars uh, Brian, Brown, Brian Brown and Brian Dennehy. And Brian Brown in this movie, he's like this FX artist. And somehow he gets roped into a faking uh, an assassination and it becomes this whole crime thing. Um, again, this is going to bring me to like a rant, and uh, this, anyone who's seen my uh, Goodwill finds from 2014 last year knows this whole story where I went in there and uh, 
it's a double-sided disc and you saw in some of the discs that they write on the disc because they have this system where they put the disc in these uh in these uh, albums because they don't want anyone to steal the disc and they have this numerical system where they put them in books and so that goes by alphabet and the number so i'm going to open it up here so you can see the disc and lo and behold they wrote on the disc again um luckily i talked to um in the original video I got a message from Rawhead Fred. He told me that I can remove it with rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to go pick some up tomorrow. So I think that's pretty stupid that they keep doing that after I told them not to. I didn't have time to look today because basically I spent a half hour looking at movies and then a half hour waiting in line so I could buy the stuff. Which leads into another story with this next uh, pickup, the last pickup for this video. And that's Groovy Ghoulies. Um, I guess this was like a... Saturday morning cartoon from the 70s, like the early 70s. Like, I don't remember this cartoon. My buddy, Mike, he was talking about this, but I've never seen this show. So when I saw this, I knew I, I just had to get it. And then I looked up, I looked it up online on Amazon, and it's going for over $100, even used. So I'm really happy to get this. I only paid $1.50 for it. But, um, it was before I was talking about how their system where they, um, they have these things um, cataloged so they can find them. And the, the girl went in there and she was, you know, taking them onto the book and I was watching her. And when it came to the third disc, she put something else in there. Because I saw that the Groovy Ghoulies disc was still in the, the, the little folder thing. And I said, well, wait, like, this isn't right. So I looked at the disc and it was Alvin and the Tripmunks. And she was trying to tell me, no, no, that's right, because of the number. I said, yeah, but look at the disc. The disc says Album of the Chipmunks is supposed to be Groovy Ghoulies. So if I wasn't paying attention, I would have got home, went through the disc, and then found out that uh, I didn't have the proper DVD in there. And then I would have had to go back there and probably wait in line or cause a big stink. Um, you know, at the counter or whatever. So luckily I was paying attention because she wasn't she didn't she wasn't reading, she was just going by the numbers, which I thought was really uh really stupid. Um I have never seen this show. I'm gonna check it out. I guess there's tons of special features in here. I think there's even an auto commentary with uh Forrest A. Ackerman, the original editor of uh, Famous Monsters. Uh I don't know. But uh there's like a documentary on here too. A docu comedy, I guess. I don't know. I'll have to check this out. There's the back. Or the, the the box is a little bit damaged. There's actually something in here. It's on the inside. The character outlines, which I don't know why they do that, because you can't really see in there that well. Alright, guys. So that's my um, Goodwill um, pickups. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.